a motherfucker. I don't know how much of that came out on film, but that was in there. So real quick, just to get that thing out of there, uh, four bolts on the bottom there. And then the steering bracket has a bolt here, and there's one on top of there, one on each side. So four all together. And then you have to pry the steering stem up as far as you can. I don't know if you can even see that. There's like a, it sits on top of it right there. And then uh, once you do that, it should be able to come out. So here's the uh, old diff. And there's the, the Razor 900 diff. On this old one here, you're going to have to cut off this part right here, the bottom of the steering stem. It, uh, there's a bearing on the end of it, and it fits in there. You're going to have to cut this piece off right here, right where it's cast at. See that? Other than that, uh, they're pretty much the same size, except for this is obviously cast in there. There's not a cover like this one, the fail point right here. Also, it's got some bracing right here. And uh, that's where you're going to have to notch the frame for that to fit. Notch the frame right here. Right there. This is uh, aft. So back of the bike is, is that way. And you'll have to notch it right there for that that uh, webbing there to fit. Okay, oh, you mean the dirt? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to preserve this dirt here. Let's see where I'm fucking cutting into that. Oh yeah. I don't want to do that. So I mean I guess I need to go a little bit deeper. See where this fucked it all up? Yeah. I mean, I could this is your old one? Yeah. This is the one that broke. This cover broke, let the pinion pop out, and then the Destroyed it. drive shaft spins no matter what you're in, so it just fucking. Carson ain't got shit on me. All right. You see that camera? So you see, I started uh, where this cast is right here. Well, that was a little bit too high. You can see where I cut into it right there. So I'm gonna have to go a little bit lower than the cast line to cut this thing off. And uh, I just did it with a cheap Harbor Freight Sawzall with a dull blade, so if you got better tools, you can definitely make it work better. So, there you go. Alright, so I notched the frame right here. Uh, I just used a die grinder. Uh, I had what I, I used what I had at hand while I was at work. 
or if I was at home, I'd have a, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, a 90 degree drill or a collet drill and uh, drill a hole here and drill a hole here and then you take your die grinder or whatever. It'd be nice and nice and pretty and oval and looking good instead of this hack job. But used what I used what I had. So that is the notch for this uh, webbing here or brace or the hell you call it. So that's that. I also pushed the steering stem up as far as it would go. And this is that bearing right here that fits in that piece I showed you earlier. So that's all together or whatever. Alright, this is uh I'm done for today. We got the steering, like whatever that is where the steering column bearing sits got that cut off and installed got a diff installed at first the uh, drive shaft was not long enough and what happened was i guess when it was broken it scooted itself back on the transmission shaft back here the uh, output shaft here so and that did not want to fucking budge so we had to take a uh, slide hammer and ratchet strap around this end and yank it forward a little bit and then we got it to line up we we're about an inch short right there and then uh let's see can you see the notch that i cut i don't know if you can see it. see that notch right there and i just have just a sliver of clearance right there between the uh, top tab on the diff and that part that i cut off earlier so far though everything's uh good and plenty of room i'll go uh, i gotta go get the heim joints for up there for clearance i guess the stock tie rod ends wherever they're at these uh tie rod ends here will hit at full full turn is that right yeah so i'll swap those out and then be done with it then hook everything up and be done service it all that shit all right stay tuned this uh, slide hammer attachment to get axles out works great, but I uh, didn't have it on all the way and it pulled my boot off of there, so I gotta put a new boot band on there. Definitely make one of those, either that with a muffler clamp or a chain with two vice grips. With the uh, muffler clamp, you can use it on a whole axle instead of the broken one. The vice grips, you can only use it on a broken one. This project, uh, I've been taking a few days to do it. Probably several hours to get it done if you were to do it in one day. I don't have a garage. I'm gonna work at night over at my buddy's house doing what I can when I can. Uh, I hate this camera. It makes it sound like I'm running a marathon. I'm not. I am fat, but I'm not about to die, I assure you, if I sound like I'm breathing heavy, it's just this camera. Um. I don't know if I talked about it or not, but I was told that the stock tie rod ends for the uh, tie rods, obviously, would not fit. So to use Heim joints, I'll put a link down in the description for which ones I used. And uh, I used the bolt and nut and washer, lock, lock washer, lock tie, all that shit. Uh, I couldn't remember if I talked about that or not. I got full steer, it's not bumping anything. So, uh, that's that. I think I'm all done. I serviced the diff. Everything, everything's all good. Nothing's leaking. Nothing I can tell anyways. Um, yeah, probably get wheels on see how bad my alignment's off. But I don't think it should be too bad. I marked it pretty good. And then uh, I'll be done. Alright, so all done. All done. I just tested it out. Everything works good. Op check 4.0, uh, no leaks, steering's even on point, which I didn't think it would be. I thought I'd have to mess with that, but even that's good to go. Uh, not too bad of a job, pretty easy. I got the diff used for uh, 425 bucks from eBay. It has its flaws, but seems to be doing all right. 
4 by 4 comes on where it's supposed to. Uh, no leaks. So we'll see how well it holds up. I showed in the video you have to cut the frame just a little bit. Uh, the better tools you have, the better job that's going to be, the better it's going to look, but no big deal. Uh, you have to cut the top off the old diff. I already put it away, or else I'd show you again. But you saw it in the video already. Um, overall, pretty good, man. Pretty easy. Not a big deal. Kind of took me a while. Like I said, I don't have a garage and I work at night, so I gotta do what I can when I can, where I can. Um, big shout out to uh, Brandon Simmons. I'll put his Instagram uh, on here. He sent me some pics of how it was. Huge, huge shout out to Marty Crotz, Dirty Third Customs. He pretty much guided me all the way through this with no problems. Uh, and a uh, huge, huge, huge shout out to my buddy uh, Jesse Holbrook. He's got a uh, YouTube channel for radio control cars. Uh, that's his sexy ass OBS board. His is a bajillion times nicer than my old trusty back there. A jillion times it's a sexy sexy truck uh, Jesse Holbrook let me use his garage good buddy of mine check out his YouTube channel if you like radio control cars uh, overall not too bad of a job easy hopefully I don't mess that up again and uh, riders advantage can suck a huge fat one they're the ones that burned me in my warranty hmm let's see Couple days is Thanksgiving. I gotta work that night, late that night. Friday, I will get this uh, my road cover back on, my Bab Industries uh, snorkels back on, and I may or may not have time to put the GSC exhaust on. I don't know. I gotta work a bunch before this weekend. We'll see. I haven't made too many videos lately, so I'm kind of dying to make some videos. Go riding. I just rode this around the block out in the woods. Pretty nice. Pretty fun. Been a, long, been a couple months since I did that. Uh, anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you did with your diff. All that stuff I want to know. Uh, I don't care about your brand. <laughs> I'm not going to sell this and buy a Honda or a Can-Am or Articat or... Yamaha or anything else, man. You can put that comment if you want. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Blows my mind when people do that. Uh, yeah, that's it, man. Take it easy. I'll see y'all at Hogwaller Turkey Bog Weekend.